Hey, come here. There's any people that be like, oh my god. Oh my god, somebody's making Jamaican beef patties. Seal. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. You're in my rip shack today. Like always, I miss you guys. Food 52. Uh, today I'm going to be making Jamaican style beef patties. One of the reasons why I came up with this recipe was I've been living here in Washington State for about three years and there is no legit Caribbean spot out here like it is back in New York. In my opinion, I haven't. Fongos is, is delicious, but uh, besides that, I haven't had any legit beef patties. So today I'm going to show you if you're way out there in West Bubba whatever how to make a Jamaican style beef hat but it's gonna be a mild little twist we added some things to the filling and uh, yeah let's get into it for the actual pastry part of the beef patty I have three cups of all-purpose flour unbleached I have about two two tablespoons of beef tallow I'm gonna be using this instead of uh, instead of butter I have my own homemade curry powder you can use turmeric if you have that. Can't give all the secrets away to what's in here, but this is gonna actually color the patty, give it that distinct beef patty uh, color. I have a cup and a half of ice cold water. As you can see. Got some sugar and some kosher, normal kosher salt. So I'm gonna add to this about tablespoon, teaspoon, two teaspoons of sugar, white sugar, two teaspoons of kosher salt, a oh, teaspoon and a half of kosher salt, about two tablespoons of curry powder. It's gonna give it a really nice color. And I'm gonna, oh, and I'm gonna stir this up. Get all of those ingredients in there, all those dry ingredients. Now we're gonna add two tablespoons of beef tallow. And I'm gonna work this with my hands, honestly, and just try to break that beef tallow up and get it all incorporated to the flour. Do not have a food processor, but this is good. This is grandma's hands, so Bill Withers. Yeah. R.I.P. You want it to be kind of crumbly. I don't know if you can see it that well, but. And once we get that, I'm gonna start adding some water to it. I'll add the whole amount on it. Pretty much gonna mix this into a nice, malleable dough starts to form. Now I'm gonna take it out the bowl and I'm gonna finish it on my table. Big, big trap house vibes. I'm gonna hit this table up with a little flour, get it in. I'm just gonna work it. We're gonna work this dough for about a minute or two. Not too long. This is gonna have like a nice chew to it, not like a super flaky traditional pressing, I guess. But yeah, I'm gonna wrap this bad boy up and let this chill for about one hour in my fridge. For the beef patty filling, I have some nice organic ground beef. The percentage on this is 80-20. I like to have like a lot of fat in mine, especially when I'm doing like empanadas or like beef patty. So I have some of that. One whole carrot, half of a white onion, one red bell pepper, some onion powder, 
garlic powder. And these are the two wild cards, I would say in my recipe. I have some house-made pickled scotch bonnet peppers. I think this will just add like a nice little zing to it. All that spiciness you get from a scotch bonnet. If you do get your hands on, if you don't, if you can't get your hands on scotch bonnet, you can definitely use habanero. But uh, if you do get your hands on scotch bonnet, I would definitely throw them in like a quick little brine. And about two tablespoons each of pine nuts and raisins. I had a dish recently, I may be butchering the name right now. It's called like pick a, pick a dillo, pick a dillo. It was like ground beef with nuts and dry fruits, super spicy, like a lot of tomato paste. So I'll, that dish is like one of my favorites. I love to eat that with some rice. So I think it would be really interesting to add those type of components to beef fatty. I know people are gonna be like, oh my God, oh my God, he's, he's putting it in beef fatty, but this will be interesting, so. Yeah, I'm gonna do something even more interesting with the carrot and the onion. I'm gonna grate these instead of dicing them. I'll dice the peppers, but I'll grate these. I like to grate my veggies, especially if I'm doing like a bolognese or a sauce like this. I am currently doing these food videos solo dolo right now. So please bear with me. I'm gonna try to feng shui it, Spike Lee, Garden Park style, some eyes wide shut. Cinematically though, texturally, not in content. Okay, if that makes sense, but I have my pan here. One of the things I'm gonna do is I'm gonna preheat my oven to 350 for the actual uh, patties. Once I cook the, cook the filling and cool it down, I just wanna have my oven nice and, and hot and ready to go. So I'm gonna turn my pan on for about medium high heat. I have a blended oil. I think it's, I believe it's canola and olive, but any neutral oil will do. I'll hit the pan up with that to make sure the bottom is coated. We'll let that heat up. This is in real time, so we'll wait. We'll wait for this to heat up. I miss you guys. I miss you guys a lot. It's been a while, it's been crazy rock. Man. Just open up a restaurant out in the Fremont area of Seattle called Local Tide. If you're around in the area, check it out. We'll plug walk right there. But also now, I believe that oil is nice and hot. I'm gonna add the shredded carrots, shredded onion, and diced red peppers to this. And get that cooking first. I'm gonna add butter. A tablespoon of salt just to help all those veggies sweat. All right, now I have about, I did this off camera, about one, tab uh, one tablespoon of scotch bonnet peppers that I, you know, pick the scotch bonnet peppers that I just diced up. This is a adequate heat level for me. Scotch bonnet is pretty hot, pretty hot peppers. But if you want to get crazy, please feel free to add more, but I'm going to add that to this now. Cook, cook up, and while that's cooking, I'm gonna add a tablespoon of garlic powder. Same onion. Two tablespoons of my homemade curry powder. About a teaspoon of smoked paprika. So this filling is going to be really red. It's really smell like lava, but delicious lava. So we'll cook all those dry spices out. The crib is going to be smelling crazy. The neighbors are going to be like, "Oh my god, oh my god, somebody's making Jamaican beef patty. Oh my god, I cannot believe it." So we'll cook those dry spices out. And it can't be a beef patty. Cannot be a beef patty without allspice. Ground allspice. So Put a little hint. I'll say about a, a teaspoon. 
teaspoon of that. That stuff. I'm gonna cook that out. Well, now that that's cooked up, this is the time I wanna add my ground beef. So I'm breaking that up. I'm gonna reduce the heat somewhat. Add some black pepper. Oh. Just break this meat down and let it let some of that fat come out. Just break it down. And I still have those uh pine nuts and raisins. I'm gonna add that now actually. So like now is a good time to add beef stock. That is the consistency you want. Cut that loop. Ooh! The juices, the fat, the pine nuts, the raisins. We're gonna let that cool in all its juices. And once that's cooled, we'll be making some beef patties, bruh. Lit. We have our Filling cooling down. It's almost ready to fill something. So I pulled my dough out. This has been resting for about an hour. We're gonna start rolling it out. So what we'll do is we'll get some flour. We'll hit the bottom first. Some AP. Some of our hands. We'll just pack that out. We'll work with half first. And the curry powder that we put in there is gonna add some flavor and obviously that beautiful color. Still want it to be relatively thick. I'll say that's about an inch and some change, I wanna say. And once we have that, Get my ring cutter. I went for, you can make these any size you want. The size that I went for is my ring molar. It's like a medium size, circular, you know? Getting, we'll get a tax Yeah, I went for it. Is it going to be some mini patties? We got all the pieces of dough rolled out. We're going to start filling, filling these bad boys up. I have some of the Cool down filling right here, ready to go. And I'm also gonna have a little bit of water to seal them. So, I'll grab one. And honestly, like a spoon plus, about a tablespoon's worth, right in the middle. You don't wanna overstuff these. You know. Take some water. Pretty much go all around. Kind of like pasta. Then grab a fork. Now lift over and push the filling down. Seal it up. Make sure that filling stays right in the middle and it doesn't seep out to the edges. You can just use your finger to do that. If you guys are getting a good view of that. I'll air out. I'll dip my fork in some flour. I'll just go around like such. There we have one beautiful 
mini beef head. We got that. So now we'll just fill up the rest of these. I'll throw down a little flour just up here so I can place them. All right, so I got sheet tray lined with some parchment paper. I got my oven at 350. And I'm gonna start laying these guys down here. One egg with a splash of water for my egg wash. I'm gonna mix that up. I'm just gonna brush these bad boys all over. That'll help it get nice and golden brown. Want this in the oven. If you don't want to use an uh, egg wash for some reason, you can also just use straight milk. I've just seen people use heavy cream. I should help. We'll brush these guys down. And I'll pop them in the oven for about 10 minutes and I'll check them out at 350. So it's been about 10 to 12 minutes. I'm gonna pull these beef patties out, see how they're looking. Probably looking sexy, real nice. Oh my god, oh my god. Look at that. I'm pulling up this hot. I'm pulling up these guys. Check that out. Look at the bottom, they little, 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 little grease, grease monkeys right there. These are hot. I'm gonna let these cool down. You know I'm gonna tear these up. I'm gonna let you know how they taste. Yeah, maybe like in the next three minutes, or maybe like three minutes. I'm out here. I'm gonna move these guys onto a nice serving plate. <clears throat> and I'm ready to eat these. You know, let's bust one open. Got one on top. That crust turned out to be super flaky. Let's pop one open. Uh, that looks crazy. See the pine nuts, raisins, carrots, like this stuff. I'm just gonna go for it. Really, I got a lot of sweetness from the raisin. Spiciness from a scotch bonnet. Definitely has a nice flavor from that curry powder that's actually in the crust. Really seasoned crust, really good. Still moist in the middle, not super dry. Mm. Thank you guys for watching. Like, leave comments below. If you guys wanna see me do something else, just drop it down there. I'm a pretty versatile guy. Delicious. Bye.